What's up YouTube? This is Camden and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to improve your American English speaking skills online. This is for people who are in the IT industry so that's information technology and I'm going to explain the difference between full stack developers and software engineers. So if this is something that interests you, be sure to check out this whole video so you can model my pronunciation, my speech, and I'll coach you right now how to improve your speaking skills. Let's go. So to all the amazing software engineers, I would like to say first, thank you for the work that you do and the full stack developers, everybody that's in the IT industry, I have a lot of respect for you and my heart, my mind, my thoughts go out to all of you out there creating the next wave of technology that, we'll, that we will be enjoying. So thank you for the work that you do. Now, what is the IT industry? I'm going to read right here the exact definition from Google. It says, it is the use of computers to create, create, process, store, retrieve, and exchange all kinds of data and information. Now those were some major vocabulary words right there that I just spoke. So make sure you pay attention to my pronunciation for these words. Because you really need to improve your speaking skills if you have an interview or if you're going to be communicating with native speakers or people in Europe or anywhere in the world when it comes to conference calls. So as a software engineer, someone in the IT industry, a full stack developer, you need to speak clearly so people will understand you and that will lead to more opportunities and more money in the bank account. So once again, I'll read this definition before I get into the full stack versus software engineer. Remember, information tech, knowledge you have to finish with a strong E at the end of technology. That's the key. So, IT is the use of computers, not computers. Not computers. The correct way to use it for American English is computers. Der, ders, duh. You gotta practice the D sound, duh. Computers. I know you can do it, practice. To create, create, just like, hey, I ate breakfast this morning. Create, process, store. That's right, you have to make the st, st sound. Store. Okay, you follow me? Let me know. Retrieve. Retrieve. It's more of a ch sound, like I'm on the couch, right? I'm on the couch. So make sure you practice that sound with exchange. And it will really come out well when people are listening to your English and they will be really impressed with your English pronunciation. So, one more time, full definition, no breaks. Here we go. Information technology is the use of computers to create, process, store, exchange, and retrieve all kinds of data and information. Data and information. Data and information. It's like an N. N, data, and data, and information. So, hope that really helped. This is coming from a lot of experience. I love teaching English online. Let me know. Give it a thumb up if this video is helping your English pronunciation so I can make more videos for you right here on YouTube. The last part of this video, I'm going to share about full stack 
versus software engineers. This is coming directly from indeed.com off of a Google search. Full stack developers and software engineers both work to achieve project goals and meet client objectives. Objectives. However, full stack developers often hold leadership roles, while software engineers may work under the supervision of full stack developers and use their expertise to develop specific project features. Under the supervision of full stack developers and use their expertise to develop specific product features. Okay. So full stack developers, perhaps more leadership role with the knowledge and experience. Software engineers can offer something very specific, like a product feature. So when everybody's working together in collaboration, that is when the most, that is when the best things always happen. When people are working together towards a common goal, a common vision, greatness is right there. Just like in this video, you're practicing your English. You're taking the time out of your day because you believe that you can improve and you believe that there's something else out there for you in this life. So if you believe that there's something else out there for you in this life and you want to get a job promotion or you want to work abroad or even study abroad, connect with native English speakers online, improve your video conference communication abilities. I'll be happy to help you. Let me know in the comment section if you're someone who wants to improve your English speaking skills, say yes and give this video a thumbs up. To everybody out there, be sure to also check out my description. I'll have some tips where you can practice your English pronunciation and it will be useful and practical to you in the IT industry. My name is Camden. I'm wishing all of you out there a wonderful day. Now go improve your English speaking skills. Talk to you soon.